Kelly Barlow Creations Crafting on a Budget. If you are new to my channel and stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it when the bell appears, YouTube will notify you when I'm uploading a new video. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links in the description box below, along with my PO box if you're interested in sending me mail and watching me open it up in a video. By popular request, I've come out with some stinking cute new merchandise in different styles and colors. You can find the link to my merchandise in the description box below. Today I am bringing to you part two of my DIY wall mirror decor series and I will be showing you just how I use these mini mirrors that the Dollar Tree carries as wall art. This is such a quick and easy DIY and the outcome is amazing and it is so budget friendly. So let's jump into it and let me show you what I have in mind using these mirrors for wall decor. You're gonna love this. For this mirror DIY from the Dollar Tree, I picked up four of these square mirrors and one of the octagon. I'm gonna start off with a seven by seven piece of cardboard. This piece of cardboard came from an Amazon Prime box that I cut up. Then I'm gonna take my four square mirrors and place them on top of this seven by seven piece of cardboard. I made the cardboard smaller because I didn't want it to show. Now for this next step, I'm using hot glue to glue my mirrors down to the cardboard. I strongly do not suggest doing this. I'm only using hot glue because I'm going to be recycling these mirrors for another upcoming DIY. I definitely would use a strong adhesive glue, something like E6000. Before I move on to the next step, I'm gonna take some glass cleaner to remove my fingerprints. Then I'm gonna take my octagon mirror and place glue on the back side of this. And again, I'm using hot glue. I suggest using E6000, a more permanent adhesive. And I'm gonna place this mirror in the center of my four square mirrors. Now to hang these up, I will be using these Velcro strips by command. When using these, you wanna make sure and get the correct weight limit. And the weight limit I am using for these mirrors is eight to 10 pounds. This came in an eight pack and I believe I paid under $5 for it. One down, two more to go. For this next mirror, I will be using four octagon mirrors, four round ones and one square. And for this one, I will be using a six and a quarter by six and a quarter inch piece of cardboard. I will be placing my octagon mirrors down first in this pattern. And again, I will be using hot glue to glue these down. Then I thought it'd be fun to add some round mirrors to the top of the octagon ones, placing them just like so. When placing these, I wanted to make sure and line up where the mirrors touch to the center of the top of the octagon mirrors, if that makes any sense. Then I will be gluing down these as well. And lastly, placing a square mirror on top. And here we have another fun mirror. Two down, one to go. For this final mirror, I will be using seven of the octagon mirrors and two of the square. And for this mirror, I will be using a nine and a half inch by seven inch piece of cardboard. And again, with this mirror, I will be starting off with six of my octagon mirrors and I will be placing them down on the cardboard in this pattern. The inspiration for these mirrors came from me wanting to go out of my comfort zone. I really wanted to think out of the box. I wanted to get away from the farmhouse decor for just this piece because I really kind of wanted to do something abstract maybe an art piece that could go up on a wall that could be a focal point of a bathroom or of a living room above a couch. And so that's where the inspiration for these three mirrors came from. Now that I've got all six of the octagon mirrors glued down, I'm gonna take two of the square mirrors and I'm gonna place them right in the center covering up where the remaining cardboard shows. 
Then to finish this mirror off, I will take my final octagon mirror and place it in the center of the two square mirrors here, leaving me with this. And here you have three fun abstract mirror wall decor pieces using Dollar Tree items. I think that these are such a fun piece to add to a bathroom or even a bedroom if you wanted to do it above your headboard. I think that this would definitely make for a great focal point on a wall. Today's shout outs going out to Southern Sass, Denise Sexton, Mama Loves to Sew, Sharon Martino, Jen Log, and Anna Marie. If you have not yet seen my cracked heels hack video and you have cracked heels, I saw amazing results in just three days. I will leave the link to that video in the description box below. And there you have it. How easy is that? All you need are these little mirrors here that the Dollar Tree carries and some glue and you have got yourself some amazing mirrored wall art. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please give this video a thumbs up and let's get this video to 2000 likes because those thumbs up really do help my channel to grow a bit faster and it really does help for YouTube to notice me a bit more. Until next time everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget and bye for now everybody.